Very exciting stuff. Ruben Villa has had a lot of success very early in his career. He's 9-0 as a professional, and this decision to have him lead a card as the main event is a testament not only to his skill, but to his potential. Okay. Ruben Villa IV is at his best when the lights are shining the brightest. The Salinas boxer will fight on his biggest stage yet in May, headlining a Showtime boxing event at the top of the card. When I got the call, man, I was extremely excited, you know, uh, got a little anxious, then, uh, you know, my heart started pumping pretty fast, but, you know, calm down. Uh, I've been training, you know, before they gave me the call, I'm always in the gym, always in shape, so when they do give me these, these type of important calls, you know, we need to answer them and be ready. This is when Villa really started zeroing in. Villa earned this spot after putting on a boxing clinic in his first televised fight back in January. Villa methodically picking apart his opponent on the way to a decisive victory. The featherweight's performance caught the attention of both boxing fans and the event organizers who are now putting the main event in Villa's hands. I try to not just let it get to my head because, you know, pressure can really get to you and uh, I'm not trying to, you know, be too anxious and, you know, be a little bit too nervous, you know, when the lights come on. So I'm just treating it as another fight. As the fights get bigger and those lights start shining brighter, Villa always remembers his roots in Salinas. You know, coming out of Salinas, you know, there's not always a lot of positive, you know, role models or things going on. So I try to give back as much as I can and, uh, you know, show people, you know, I'm just another guy from Salinas. It's going to be like uh, Salinas is in the map for boxing. And that's our goal. And uh, for Ruben, it's, it's a lifetime for me. So Villa's opponent in this upcoming match has yet to be named. They do have a man in mind, but they're still ironing out those details. The fight, though, will be on May 10th. Good stuff. All right. Very good. Thanks, Trey.